Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal, Impossible here. Uh, we're back in core defense. We keep coming back to this game because it's a lot of fun. That's just all there is to it. We're going to step up the difficulty today. Last episode, we uh, beat it on hard, which is the lowest difficulty, which is, you know, kind of silly thinking about it. But uh, let's stop it. So let's step it up to uh, overload one. And uh, apparently in this one, we stop getting any heals after boss fights. So that is kind of a big deal. And as we go farther on, you know, they add a little bit more to it every single time. So things get a little bit harder. And here we go. We got a, a good tower here. I'm a big, big fan of having a repeater as your first tower. Uh, the more the more times it kills things, the faster its attacks get. And uh, it's actually a pretty good all-rounding, all-rounder kind of general purpose tower. I'm a big fan of it. Truth be told, let's go ahead and we're going to set up the same crappy setup we always do here. We're just going to put a little guy here, start the wave, get it going at 3x speed. Let's hop right on through this. They let us here. There we go. One down already, which is pretty easy. We're going to take the repeater damage, because why not? And uh, auto shields, I will take auto shields. I really want a wall, but auto shields is uh, pretty nice, truth be told. A little extra shielding for nothing. There we go. Flawless bonus. Uh, we can take Tinkerer or Melter. I do want to get Melters later on. Because uh, they reduce armor, which is kind of the uh, Achilles heel of the repeater. Uh, I'm going to leave the Tinkerer module. I'll just take repeater damage for now. Uh, I want more repeater damage, obviously, but I'm going to take a wall. I want to slowly build this wall down. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to do a similar build to what we usually do. People people get upset because my, uh, my mazing with my walls is uninspired. But uh, maybe I'm just boring. <laughs> I don't know. It's quite possible. The... Uh, I, know, I just what I'm doing has been working. I haven't seen much of a reason not to just keep it the way it is and get another repeater damage, and I'll get another wall. There we go. We're gonna have this one stopped off now. So now they're all gonna be coming around here, getting a full you know effect of the repeater, making the best use of it as a single tower for now. And hopefully, I'm not entirely sure, but I think. Like, the, uh, the speed bonus you get on this keeps compounding as the game goes on. I think. Not 100% on that. Uh, so, like, if you can just stick it out with just your repeater killing things for a long time, you're probably really well off. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. Freezing tower is kind of nice, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Uh, my next tower is probably gonna be a melter tower. Like I said, just to get their armor down. But I'm not that worried about it right now. Let's see how it goes. I also like shurikens. I don't mind getting a shuriken. It wouldn't be horrible. That might be like uh, what I get after the melter, just to help, you know, bulldoze down some stuff. I'm going to get another tower here and uh, more repeater damage. When I said tower, I meant to say wall. I don't know why tower came out of my mouth, but it did. There we go. We're going to throw this one down right here. And there we go. We got more stuff going on here. And they're dying pretty quick. The repeater does a good job. As long as whatever you're facing isn't armored, it does a good job. And it kills things so quick that it effectively works like uh, AoE for the most part. You know, not 100%, obviously. It, it kills things one at a time, but it just kills them so fast that it doesn't usually much matter. And you see, it's plowing through things so fast. There's like five mobs right there, and they all died in like literally one second. Uh, we're going to go more repeater damage. And more repeater damage. More damage, more better. Uh, the, uh, the biggest downside, other than uh, armor for the repeater, is that it has very, very short uh, attack range, which can be a problem. Um, meh. I mean, I'll, I'll take one of these. I'll probably take... Freezers are kind of good. It gives them more time to attack stuff. I'll take a freezer, I guess. That'll, that'll also help with things. And it'll still let the uh, other guy do all... It'll still let the repeater do, be the one that does all the damage. So there we go. We're going to throw that out there. I'm just going to throw it right here. So it's going to be affecting things for the most of the time that it's in the range of the repeater. So that works for me. If things are slowed down a little bit when they're in range of this guy, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to take out most things for quite a while. There we go. That wasn't so bad at all. Uh, slow duration. I'm just going to take uh, more repeater damage. Because I am all about that repeater damage. And uh, we, can, we can take another wall. Why not? We'll uh, build up their level of having to come to us like we did last time. There we go. Let's keep let's keep it on going. 
And of course, we can always try to zigzag this around and stuff. I don't tend to go too crazy with walls. I'd rather just keep dumping uh, upgrades into towers. But, you know, some people really like that. You know, you can make more out of your towers by just having a lot of walls. That is for sure. Uh, let me see. Refine. Refine gives us, yeah, 4% damage boost. I'll take that. Um, I guess I'll take... I'll take another wall. Why not? More walls. There we go. We'll just throw you right there. Let's keep it on going. There we go. We got another one here. Uh, we can take a refine, which is another 4% damage, or just take a flat repeater damage. And I'm going to take the refine because I'm probably going to start working on another uh, damage thing soon. And we'll also take the repeater damage. Like I said, I'll probably have a melter in here at some point. Just to get rid of armor that the repeater is going to have a problem with. Like, you know, big bosses come through, stuff like that. I almost skipped when I was just hitting the OK button. I'm glad that didn't happen. Let's grab some of this. And, uh, yeah, I don't really want any of these. If I'm being honest. I don't want to split my upgrades with uh, shield disruptors or boom blasters. I just really don't want to. Um... I guess I'll take the shield, and I'll just, you know, use it whenever it's on cooldown for the most part. This gives you a little tiny shield. I don't really need it, but I got yelled at for skipping things. People are mad at me because I skip stuff. You know, and, uh, you know, to a point, sometimes it, it does make sense to skip. Like, right there, I think it would have been viable to skip just so I didn't have to keep splitting my future upgrades or things. And just taking a wall doesn't really hurt anything, so it is a useful thing to do. I'm going to take the wall right here. Uh, take the hardened core, so uh, whenever something does come through, it's going to hurt us less. Let's go ahead and throw down a thing here. I don't know, maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll start making things have to walk a gauntlet to get to us. We'll do all sorts of weird things, I don't know. We'll have this come down around, and who knows what else. We'll do stuff. Right, let's go ahead and start this back up. I'm going to throw a shield out. Like I said, I'm not going to use that reactionary or anything. At least not until my shields are full, totally full. You might as well just use it as often as it'll let you. Uh, let me see here. Repeater damage. There we go. Uh, freezer range. I don't think I really need that. Yeah, why not? I'll do it a little bit. Let's see. Uh, it already, you know, intersects a lot of his range. I don't think he needs any more range, at least. Let's keep putting out the shields. There we go. And uh, as I said, I definitely recommend, especially at earlier levels, uh, just grabbing a repeater. It is a great all-rounder first uh, turret to go with. Uh, I'll take shield amount. Why not? I'll take... Oh, you know what? What round are we on? Can I even see? We're at round 15 out of 50. I think I might wait a little while to get a melter. Uh, I don't want to split my stuff even more. Maybe I do. All right, I'll get a melter. Why not? I like having melters. They do good things. Um, hmm. What do I want to throw it? I don't mind ha I mean, I kind of want it somewhere where it'll, it can hit. You know, I can just, like, throw it here. And stuff happens. I want the repeater to get the kills, truth be told. And this is going to deny it a lot of kills if I do it like the way I have it. Um, like I said, the repeater gets, uh, gets higher speed the more things it kills. You want it to get the kills if you can. I still want this to hit stuff, though. I don't know. This is a silly place to put it, but that's just, that's my reasoning for it. I want it to hit things with ar armor, but I don't want it to get the kill. That is the plan. And uh, that's mostly what I'm going to focus on with this guy, is give him armor sniping, uh, armor stripping abilities. Let's go to Hardened Core. Sounds good to me. Uh, I'll take a wall. Why not? There we go. Let's uh, run this on down this way. We're going to zigzag this back and forth that way or something. Something along that line. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, let's keep going. There's not much else to do. Let's go ahead and throw down our shield ability here. There we go. I think I forgot to do that last round. Stuff happens. There we go. Uh, I'll take I'll take another wall. And melter speed, maybe? I'll take damage. I, mean, I can't help myself. It's purple. I want it. Uh, there's another thing I've never really went over with before in this game. is the fact that you can... Uh, where am I looking? Here? Maybe? Where am I looking? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. You can tell your towers what you want them to target. So, for example, I want my melters to target the ones with the highest health. Because when the melter hits them with their, uh, their beam, then my other guy can just totally obliterate them 
with his, uh, with his, whatchamacallit, with his quick shootiness. Oh my god, I didn't mean to pick that up. It's not what I want to do at all. Uh, Repeater, I kind of want to do the opposite. I want him to go for the lowest health people, I think. Why not? We'll just go lowest health. We have 13 repeater damage upgrades. He ought to be, uh, ought to be pretty beefy. I at least hope so. But he has no armor pen whatsoever, which is his biggest, biggest, uh, downside. Are right, we got another wall here. I forgot we had another wall. Uh, yeah, we'll just throw you there, and then we can start walking it down a little bit. There we go. We'll see how things go. I think we need a speed slightly faster than 4x. I mean, a 3x, rather. I just feel a little slow sometimes. But everything went pretty good. And yeah, no problems with anything here. Let's take more repeater damage, because I do like repeater damage. Uh, Melter speed, I'll beef that up a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Let's get it going. I'll go ahead and shield all these things here. Let's get these guys down. That was easy peasy. I'm going to take the reach. Uh, this is the only way that I know of that the repeater can get more reach. So I'm definitely going to take that. Freezer slow amount, I'll definitely take that. If it's in range, it's going to slow things down, so my repeater is going to have enough time to kill it. So that's definitely good. So let's keep on going on here. We have a big baddies coming. Yeah, I'm not really worried about these guys so much. They're getting, they're getting taken down pretty easily. Yeah, they're nothing. Flawless bonus. Uh, I might get another reach. Reach is just good, I, you know. That's all there is to it. It's more time my repeater can be shooting. I'm trying to make him the MVP right now. Let's go ahead and grab shield amount. Hit the thing here. Go ahead and shield up everything. Our core is almost full already. Which is nice. So something does get through. Hopefully we won't get one shot. That would be rough. Right, let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, we handled it. Not much of a problem at all. So that's good. Freezer range, melter damage. Yeah. I guess maybe a little bit more range. Because he doesn't get it when it's all the way down here where my mouse is. Uh, see, slow. I don't want any of these, and I don't want to split my stuff anymore. Because uh, you only get upgrades for things that you own. So uh, if you want to, you know, limit how many things you're getting upgrades for, upgrade options for, you don't take the tower. So I'm not going to take any of those, unfortunately. That's just how it is. That's why it's useful to have the uh, module that lets you get a wall every time you skip. But we do not have that, unfortunately. Let's go ahead. Now, I think I'll spread my shield down to this guy. Our core looks pretty good right now. We'll see how things go. I swear those flying guys look like they get faster when they get frozen. I'm not really sure how that works, but that's what it feels like to me. Uh, let's get some repeater damage, because we're all about the repeaters today. And we're kind of in the same, same situation again, where I don't want any of these, really. If it was shield, I'd take it just because I already own it, but I don't want either, any of those. That is just all there is to it. Let's go ahead and start it up. I'll do my shield thing. There we go. These two are the ones that need to shield the most right now. So I've been trying to hit them with shields when I see it. Hopefully we can get these guys slowed down enough so we get them taken out. Yep. I was a little bit closer than I would have wanted, but all in all, it really wasn't close at all. So no biggie there. Let's go ahead and hit a... Freeze duration. Why not? Um, shield cooldown. Wall. I'll take another wall. We haven't had another wall in a while. I'm gonna throw a wall down here. There we go. We're doing wall things. See how that goes. Which means eventually we can put something here because that's another good choke point for something. Maybe I'll put the uh, maybe I'll put the laser there. Who knows? Weirder things have happened. I'm not terribly upset about the laser getting kills now, if it's something that's going to happen. I'm definitely going to take armor reduction, because that's essentially the whole reason why I even have a melter. Uh, it does decent damage and everything. It's it's not a bad tower by itself, but I definitely mostly just wanted the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit from it, the uh, armor reduction. So there we go. We got a little bit of a, a nook going on here. I'm going to throw this guy right here in the middle. He can hit stuff in his little range and get it all weakened up by the time he gets to the repeater. The repeater does good enough damage now. I'm not horribly worried about it. You know, it doesn't have to get every single kill. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad that we were getting extra shots on that guy. Uh, you know, extra armor reduced. Can I throw this out real quick? There we go. I have to remember to use that twice if I have the time for it. I always forget. Let me see. We'll take some melt through speed. I don't think we really need the shield so much. I'm not all that worried about it. Uh, we can get some nanobots. I don't remember if we have nanobots or not, so I guess uh, we'll have them now. 
and they just give us a 2% health every round, which is not like anything amazing by any means. It's just a little something to top you off if you got a little low. And it's helpful. Uh, let me see, I'll go with slow amount. The longer they'll sit by my uh, repeater getting beat on, the better, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and take more damage, and let's go! Throw out another shield here. I, uh, we, we might... I don't want to jinx it, but we might get really far without taking any shield damage. I mean, without taking any quarter damage, rather. It's quite possible. Not 100% by any means, but, you know, it could happen. Let's get our flawless bonus here. Uh, repeater damage, of course. Uh, let me see. I don't care about take a break. Freezer range, I don't really care about. We'll just take the wall. Why not? We'll get more walls. And uh, let me move. Can I move my screen over to this side? No? I uh, For some reason, I thought that was an ability, but apparently not. All right, let me see what I want to do here. I kind of... I don't know. I, I kind of already really have them the way I want them. I guess I can make this one come over here and we could kind of walk them into stuff. I don't know. I mean, like I said, they're, they're already kind of like where I want them to be going. I guess I can kind of just move that guy that way. This line this way. I don't know. I don't really care that much, to be honest. Let's go ahead and uh, put our shield down here. Hopefully these guys are going to get messed up soon, which means we have another choke point right here. We can throw down another turret if we're if we're looking to uh, anything. We can throw like a, a shuriken or something there. It would probably be useful, honestly. Just any kind of AoE, really. Because that is our weakness right now, for the most part, is AoE. And I would take a shuriken if they gave me one right now. I think it would be useful. But uh, we're just not getting it. I don't think we're full on abilities or anything. It's just uh, we're just not getting it. I see freezer range. I'll take nanobots for more healing because sometimes they get pretty deep in with their uh, their what you call it their uh, damage on us. There we go. Let's just push th this lane over this way a little bit. So we have so, so this is essentially the uh, entrance to our little choke area. All right, so let's start it up. I'll get this guy hit with a shield, the world's smallest shield. Maybe we can buff up the shield a little bit at some point. And once they once they get to here. This thing totally demolishes them. Alright, we get our reward here. Repeater damage, shield them out. Um, I just said I wanted more shield, but I, I, I'll take the shield amount. why not? And uh, I don't want the sniper. Although, honestly, sniper, not a bad tower, but I would never... I mean, at first, I thought it was pretty cool and OP, but I don't think it's something you really want to rely on. I'm going to take the shield amount here and get going here. I'm going to throw a shield on this guy. He's usually pretty low. He's up kind of like the front line, so they pick on him a whole lot. All right, come on, take these things out. Things are getting closer than I want them to get. All right, we might want to get more dips out soon. If we find another tower that uh, has good stuff, so we might do something about it. Auto shields. I don't really feel like I need auto shield. I'll take more hardened core, take less damage when things get through, because it's almost certainly going to happen. Take nanobots, get more healing just in case. Right, let's do it. Put a shield on this guy. Right, hopefully we can take all these out. Things are getting sketch. Oh, that didn't, that didn't go good at all. Uh, we survived. Well, we obviously we need more repeater damage. I mean, that's just obvious at this point. And maybe I should have him go for different targets. I should go with ones that are closest to the core, maybe? Perhaps? That seems like a way to go about it. Let me go ahead and shield the core. Because it uh, took a little damage there. I think they just got lucky for the most part, but still. Not a fan of them getting through that. Not a fan at all. There we go. I might have to set my guy to closest. Um, instead of just going for the lowest uh, health thingies. Uh, so slow, I guess I'll take slow duration. And the wall. Why not? There we go. Let's do this wall out here. You guys can go over this way. Like I said, I'm not really doing anything with this, but it's there. Why not? Uh, let me go into this. I'm going to set my repeater uh, turret here to stop going for lowest health. And go for the closest one. Uh, hopefully that means closest to the core. I'm not 100% if that's true or not. But that is more what I want him to do right now. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Throw down another shield on these guys. Let's see if we get another one of these out real quick. I don't think I'm using these as much as I could be. So I probably should just spam them a bit more. There we go. We got that one taken care of. Flawless bonus. Melter speed. We need a little bit more melter dips. So that might help. Uh, I don't, I don't really want any of these, honestly. I'll take the range because it doesn't hurt, but yeah, I wasn't really needing it by any means. All right, let's see how we're doing. 
This guy's taking a little damage every once in a while. Hard to keep him topped off. Alright, Repeater, you need to do more damage stuff. There we go, we got it taken care of. Uh, Melter Speed, yeah, we'll do more Melter Speed. I'll take some of that. Uh, shield cooldown, why not? We'll do more shieldy things more often. Let me throw this down right here. Here we go. Yeah, they're beating up on that turret pretty bad. Holy cow. I'm glad I at least had a little bit of a shield for him. Uh, I'll take more repeater damage for sure. We'll take more melter damage. I already have like four hardened cores, so I'm not worried. The, uh, the core shouldn't take too much damage just in case something comes through. Hopefully we'll be okay. I want to get a, another shield on this guy. He's getting beat up pretty bad. Hopefully we can help him out. There we go. Got them taken care of. Shield stacks? I, I've never even seen shield stacks. Uh, I'm not even quite sure what that means, but we're going to take it. <laughs> we'll just, you know, whatever. We'll take it. Uh, keep it cool. Yeah, we'll take the cooldowns because we use the uh, shield uh, cooldown a lot. All right, hopefully we can take this guy out pretty quick. He should be pretty low in armor after that many melter shots. Oh, we can get multiple charges of it. That's pretty cool. Let's get another one. Oh, can I do... Can I do another one now? I don't, I'm not quite sure how that works. Uh, freezer range, free outtakes, slow duration. Keep them slow as long as possible. I'll take a wall, I guess. I'm not really using the walls to do anything with them, but they're here, so I'll, I'll take them, I guess. You know, if I wanted to put more towers out, we've we've introduced better spaces for it. So if we had another tower, damage tower, just about anything, putting it here would be ideal and we get a lot more damage out of it. We'll see how things go. Hopefully this guy doesn't hit our core. They, they like doing bounces that get to the core, and I really hate them for that. They're quite annoying. Can I do another one? There we go. I was wondering how exactly that worked. Get more things out here. Hopefully we can get these big beefy guys down. There we go. I was, I was a little worried, but we got we got it figured out. I could get another shield stack. Holy cow. Uh, let's just go with armor reduction. I kind of want to do a lightning tower, too. I did say I want to do a little bit of AoE stuff, right? What are we looking at for... Uh, we have, like, wave 36 or something? Uh, I do want more armor reduction, and I also want more tower lightning stuff. I don't know. I haven't done a lightning tower. I haven't actually uh, spent much time with lightning towers in quite a while, so let's do that. There we go. I think the first tower I made was a lightning tower, and I had no idea what I was doing with it. That's fun. Let's throw this down over here. It's probably going to get beat up on a lot, but stuff happens. And of course, uh, I t put down a lightning tower for once, and they don't even come with any AoE whatsoever. Right, let's get that thing healed up a little bit. Throw another heal down. Yeah, the, the uh, single targets aren't going to get hit very much until they come this way. That's what the repeater's for. If we could get them softened up and take out big groups before that, I think it's very useful. Uh, I'll take a melter speed for sure. Uh, more armor we could take down to better. I'll take... Eh, shield amount? I'll get more shield amount. That sounds good to me. Let's throw down more shields over here. This guy is always needing them. There we go. They have a lot of little things they're putting out here. We should probably put some uh, upgrades into our lightning damage because it is rather weak. I mean, there's just too many things for us to keep up with it. Holy cow. Are we going to kill this? All right, we, we actually did. I was I was starting to get worried. Like, are we going to do this? <laughs> uh, quick in, 3% attack speed. That might be good. I always take the sloth hack if it's offered. You know, 10% movement speed. That gives you, you know, a fair bit more time to get things killed. That seems worthwhile to me. Uh, I, I think we're already beyond what we need for range. I'll just take a wall because free stuff. It's free real estate, right? Why not? Um, that's not even where I wanted to put that. I, mean, I had to do a little cut there. There's a whole many, a whole bunch of bikes and stuff just drove by. Super loud, how dare we have mufflers on our bikes uh, kind of people driving by. And uh, that's literally like all I could hear. So I didn't want to put you guys through that. Let's go ahead and throw a shield on here. Throw another shield. We'll see how things go. Hopefully we'll take these guys out. I do want to get some lightning upgrades. I would like it for his AoE to actually be useful. And I also don't want this freeze guy to hit things way over there. It's actually less... Uh, oh my god, they're going to kill our thing. I have never seen that... I've never actually had a, a thing get so low. That was kind of insane. Uh, shield cooldown? Eh, maybe. kind of need it for this tower, to be honest. Uh, I'll take some repeater damage. There we go. I'm going to move this thing back just so I can sit back and throw heals on it for a little while. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll throw it like over here and I'll just keep throwing shield on this little area here because uh, you know, this guy was getting wrecked. 
And I, I want him here because I'm hoping he won't take the, the the enemy fire. I'm hoping this guy will. Otherwise, you know, maybe I should throw him like over here or something. I, this is not a strategic place to put him other than I just want him to survive. And I'm not even sure if that'll work for this guy. But I'm going to throw a shield on him here and just like pray. There we go. Get him shielded up as often as they'll let me put it. I wonder, is there a hotkey for this? I would love for there to be a hotkey for that. Play it five. Does that work? Six? No, it doesn't seem to work in such a manner, unfortunately. Uh, flawless bonus. As usual, take some, uh... Take some melter damage. Yeah, for sure. Tinkerer gives us more chance to get modules. We have uh, all the modules we really need, to be honest. I'm gonna take some more melter damage. Uh, I'll take even more melter damage. There we go. Go and start it up. I'll hit this one here. And we still have one, so I'll throw another one down. There we go. So this thing has full shield now, at least. That's something. Our, uh, this thing is not doing, like, any damage for AoE at all, unfortunately. We're working on it. He's just, he's just not there yet. That's alright. I think we'll be fine over here regardless. They get, they did get further than most of them get there, that's for sure. Let's get some more repeater damage. There we go. We'll get some refined, because that'll increase damage to all our stuff. Yeah. Let's throw this guy out here. Does anything actually need a shield? I don't think he even needs it. Is our core shielded? Alright. The core could use a little bit more shield, so I th threw some over there. Let's see how we do over here. This guy might die before he gets to the repeater. Who knows? Oh, oh. Stop beating up on my guys. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Claim our reward here. Oh, I don't really care. I'll take the wall, because why not? Also take more melter damage. I'm just gonna throw the wall somewhere. I don't, I don't really care where the wall is or what it's doing, so there. Have a wall there. Because reasons. Yeah, just, I honestly don't care where that thing was going. Hopefully we get these guys taken out. Uh, this would be a good time to start thinking about getting a, uh, a stun. So if something gets to... Uh, let me get this thing out of the way so I can actually see here. Uh, I'll get a shield cooldown. Why not? So if something gets here and you, and you don't think it's going to die in time, having a stun, just plop it right here by the repeater would be a great thing to do. Uh, I don't have that right now. I'll keep him, I'm going to keep my eye out for one. Because I, I do think that is the one thing this build really benefits from. And right now, I would throw a stun here, but I don't have one. And it's really hurting me there. Having a stun there, I think, would have bought us the time that we needed. And we just got it just now. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. Let me throw down shields over here. Help our core out a little bit. There we go. Throw another one. There we go. I don't think we'll need it for these guys, but, you know, I'll, I'll keep it in the area. Keep it in mind. We've got a heal on this guy. Or a shield, rather. They're hitting They're hitting them pretty darn hard there. Uh, there's repeater damage. Obviously, we need more repeater damage. It might have been uh, slacking a little bit too much there. Uh, this one, I, I'll take the module tinkerer just because it won't take for my upgrade options. And why not? Modules are good most of the time. Let's see if I get more shields out here. Get these guys the big old shields. My core still needs shields, so I'm definitely going to try to keep that one shielded. Let's throw this over here. If it gets close again, I'm definitely going to throw things out. This guy's getting beat up on and try to keep him shield. Yeah, we're definitely fine. We'll be fine. Alright, lightning bounces. I'll just take that because we have zero stuff on our lightning thing, and that would actually really help to actually have any upgrades on our little lightning turret that's like barely doing anything. Alright. Let's keep going. Hopefully get more shields out. These guys need more shields. I think our, our home base is actually full, fully shielded right now. It could use more health. Our only healing right now is the, is the fact that we heal like 2% every round or something. So it's not very much. When these guys get close to my thing, I'm definitely going to... Actually, I'm going to do it right now. They're right in the middle of where all my stuff was. Uh, so basically, I was going to maximize my DPS by having all my turrets firing on them at the same time. It would have been better, I think, than, than just doing it right in front of our core with only the repeater firing on it. So it was just like a split second. Okay, I think that'll work out better. Uh, we're towards the end. We're very towards the end. I'm going to take the healer now because I don't think it much matters what I do. And we'll take some melter speed. And I'm just going to throw the healer like there. You can just sit there and keep healing my little guy here. You know, is there a better place I could throw that? 
I don't think it really much matters. Yeah, I just want it mostly on the core. I could have put it like right here and it might get this guy too, but they're not even low health. So, you know, whatever. Whatever, man. That's all I'm saying. Get some more shields. All the shields for everybody. That's all I'm saying. Right, this looks a little sketchy again. Gonna try to get them all. Throw some shields down. All right, yeah, we're, we're this is sketch. Shield! Uh, I tried to get it there in time. That was literally the last wave. We were so close. If I had, like, any extra upgrades on my lightning thing so I could actually handle AoE, I think we'd have been fine. If I had a shuriken instead of a lightning, I think we'd have been fine. I just, uh... The repeater is a good general all-purpose thing, but it's not going to be great enough to take out five bajillion things like that. And that's where you really need AoE things. And the lightning uh, tower we had was just not up to snuff. Unfortunately, let's look at our st uh, statistics here. We got 1260 score and we, we got 49 out of 50 waves. We were so close. I am uh, I'm disappointed in myself. I thought for sure we we're going to unlock another difficulty and go up the curve, but we just we just didn't manage it today. I'm sorry about that, guys. We'll definitely try again. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I'm always always happy to play more if you guys are interested. Uh, you know, this is Core Defense. If you guys are interested in this game, I'll have a link down in the description. You check it out for yourself. Uh, you guys, new to this channel is what I do. I play any games every day on the internet for your enjoyment. I like playing tower defense games like this one here and like Mindustry and uh, base building automation games. We're playing Assembly Planter lately, which is a lot of fun. And uh, vehicle engineering games like Trailmakers, Besiege, and World of Contraptions, stuff like that. So if you're into any of that kind of stuff, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know how to put it in your content. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.